This is a recording of a class that occurred Saturday, May 15th, 2010. The introduction was cut because it's not pertinent to a recorded class. Welcome to Advanced PvP Tactics, where we'll be discussing how to recognize, avoid, and counter kites, disengages, and bait. These are three of the most common tactics that you'll see used in PvP, so it's vital to be able to discern when they're being used and to know how to counter them. The first one we'll be talking about is kiting. Kiting is a practice of drawing an enemy ship along as you dictate range and the terms of engagement. In short, you make someone chase you. The inherent danger of being kited is twofold. First, you have zig zero angular velocity, so that you're easy to hit even in a frigate chasing a battleship, and the second is being separated from the main force of a fleet. The danger is compounded since ships that will typically kite will also have greater range than you. So how do you recognize when you're being kited? If a ship is running from you in a straight line, and his speed is either greater than yours or only slightly below yours, it's likely you're being kited. This is especially true when you're chasing a larger ship. For example, if you're chasing a battleship with a cruiser, or a cruiser with a frigate. A key number to look for is your angular velocity on the overview. If you're chasing in a straight line, your angular velocity will drop to nearly zero and you'll be a huge target for even the, the guns with the slowest tracking. Always try to fly at angles to close the distance. That is to say, never fly straight at a target. The ideal is to fly at 45s and constantly adjust to end up in an orbit around them. How do you avoid being kited? As I mentioned, you should always fly at an angle clo uh, to close distance in order to keep your angular velocity high. But if the difference in speed between your ship and the target isn't great enough, your angular will remain low even if you fly at an angle. In these cases, your best course of action is to simply disengage. It's the hardest thing to do for even experienced pilots, but in this case, and several more that you'll see, discretion is truly the better part of valor. So let's say you know what you're going up against a kiting ship. What are the tools you can use against it? How do you counter it? The first is if you know you can close the distance, you have to get the enemy ship ECM'd. He'll pose no risk to you if he can't lock you and fire on you. So if you, see, uh, so if you ECM him, you'll be able to tackle him and bring in the cavalry. As a side note, if all you have is a web and a disruptor, and he's using a micro-orb drive, the odds are the main forces won't be able to catch up. So if you imagine an interceptor traveling at 4 kilometers per second, and you bring that speed even down to 20%, that's still 800 meters per second, which is much faster than many ships. Sometimes a scramble is worth fitting if you know you're going to be fighting a very fast ship. The second method of countering a kite is to simply snipe. In the uni, there are a few pilots with the skills to, sc to snipe effectively, but this is a strong counter to the kite. Often, if nobody is chasing, a kiting ship will simply fly in straight lines towards or away from fleets to taunt them. At this point, their angular velocity is low, and a few well-placed volleys will kill the ships. So, are there any questions about kiting? Alright, the next topic we'll be touching on is non-engagements or disengagements. I would define it as a ship ceasing hostile actions in an, att in an attempt to either dock up or jump through a gate. So to understand that, ships cannot use gates or dock for 30 seconds after using a module against another ship. That includes ECM, tackling, damage dealing, and a variety of other modules. This tactic is extremely common and, in my opinion, is the number one reason that fleets miss kills. Recognizing a non-engage is relatively simple, as a target that isn't flashy won't become flashy. So that is to say, if, if a target is attacking the fleet, they will go flashy, everyone will know that they've engaged. Um, if you recognize that no fleet member has been aggressed, that's another way to recognize a non-engage. Uh, communication is vital within a fleet if someone has been engaged. Uh, recognizing disengages can be more difficult. It requires communication as well because the person who was under attack has to recognize that the target is no longer attacking and they must relay that information. The counter to both non-engages and disengages is nearly the same. A tackler guarding the other side of a gate will be able to tackle a lone ship trying to warp off on the other side. For non-engages, a fleet commander May, may elect to simply split the fleet in half, with one half engaging on the current side of the gate, and the other half jumping through in anticipation of the disengage. 
The most difficult part of this is convincing pl fleet members to not engage, because everyone wants to be on a kill mail. But as I'll demonstrate in the practical, when everyone engages, nobody gets on the kill mail. A subset of disengages and non-engages that I'm not an expert in, but we'll discuss briefly, is station games. This is when a tar target chooses to undock and allow themselves to be aggressed with the purpose of determining a f an enemy fleet's disposition. If you don't know a system, do not play docking games there. There are different kinds of stations. Some will undock you within the docking range, so if you fly off for the 30 seconds that you have to, you'll still be able to dock right away. And some will eject you beyond the docking range, meaning that you'll have to turn around and fly back to the station. As you may imagine, having to turn around and fly towards a station is very risky if you're not in a very heavily tanked ship. So this is a case where information is power. If you don't know the station, don't play the game there. Are there any questions about disengages and non-engages? And I'll take, I'll take station games if, if I can. All right, so I'm going to move on to the last topic that we'll be covering, and that's bait. Um, bait is a relatively simple topic. Um, what bait is? Bait is a heavily tanked ship acting as a lure for others to attack, while the while the the bait's main force lies in wait to counter. There are several ships that are common bait. Essentially, any ship with bonuses to resist are often used as bait. Uncommon bait can come in many forms, so it's n there's no surefire way to know if someone is looking to fight alone or acting as bait. Avoiding and countering bait is all about intelligence. N not yours, don't worry. The military kind. You need to know how many players in the are in the surrounding systems, how many of them are in the same corp as the bait, or potential bait, how many are in the same alliance uh, as well. To avoid being baited, the simplest thing to do is to not attack. But without ever attacking a ship, you'll likely never get any real fights. So the best option is to assume a ship is bait at first, and prepare a counter. Countering can involve bringing in a large amount of DPS in order to kill the bait and warp out as quickly as possible. And the second option is to keep a part of the fleet in reserve in order to jump and reinforce when the bait's main forces arrive. Are there any questions about baiting? This is the end of the recording. I hope you were able to take something away from it.